Well, hey guys, if you followed my channel any at all, you know I am super big into landscaping. I don't do it for, I'm not professional, I just do it as a hobby, uh, but I love doing landscaping and I really have grown to love this uh, river rock slash mulch blend. Well, anyway, I'm going to be jumping into a new way to install River Rock. It's a really cool effect the way it looks, and it's much easier to do. Uh, it's quicker, too. So, wonder what I'm talking about? Watch this video, guys. It's a really cool process. So guys, I'm so excited to be bringing this to you today. I'm excited to be doing it because it's going to be a great addition to my landscape on my house. Uh, before I move forward, though, let me kind of recap and bring you guys up to speed. Um, over the last year or so, between being busy and doing all the projects with my kids, um, just neglected, absolutely neglected uh, my landscaping in the front of my house. I'll actually throw in a little B-roll here to remind you what this looked like when I started. Anyway, I've got almost all the weeds out, got everything back under control. I pruned and trimmed my hedges. And before I do landscaping, I want to do this addition with River Rock. Bring, I've learned this new way to install this. It'll be using the smaller two to four inch stone. Uh, River Rock comes in three different sizes. I'm going to do a bed of the smaller first and I'll show you how and why and it's a really nice effect it looks good and it's a lot easier to install so anyway guys I'll bring a lot more detail as we go forward in the video but for right now I want to get busy first thing I've got to do is get my, uh, my uh, weed barrier down and get all that set in place and then we'll start bringing in uh, the river rock so guys you know me let's get busy I got my weed barrier down I didn't video this because this is pretty straightforward uh, this is just a, a not the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest weed barrier. I wanted to get something a little thicker. Uh, so I uh, got this from Lowe's. Uh, these come in 50 foot rolls, and this was just straight rolling it out and, and just kind of putting some weight so the wind won't blow it. The next thing I'm working on is I'm going to frame up exactly how I want to do my rocks. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I am going to be using um, the two to four inch rock, and I want to put them down kind of thick. So I, I want to have something that'll hold that straight line and kind of make a barrier uh, between my rock and my mulch. So this is a product I also got from Lowe's. I've never used this before. It's a company called, and I've never heard of this company either, it's called Rubber Ific. Uh, but anyway, it's a, it's a very rustic looking. It's a, kind of a plastic. And the thing I like about it is it's very flexible. And if you need to turn the turns even tighter, you can come in here and you can see how I've notched it and it allows it to, to come around. It's already got the holes in it with stakes and you just kind of get your arc uh, however you want to form it and you can do that. So anyway guys, next thing I'm going to do is get these in place and then we will start coming in and laying uh, the first thing down. So let me give you a quick heads up on why I'm doing this and, and doing this procedure a little differently. So in the past, I have got the medium sized rock, which are the four to six inch, and I've laid these in, and the way I was taught to do it was kind of like lay it out like a puzzle. So you're here and you're laying one uh, rock at a time, you're trying to sort of fit them the best you can, you want to minimize uh, any spacing between it, so it, it's time consuming. The way that I'm going to do it now by doing the two to four inch, and you'll see this as it all comes together, is I'm going to lay down a bed of this two to four inch uh, that'll be, you know, about uh, two to three inches thick. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to randomly put the bigger pieces on top. It's a really cool look. And again, this is fairly easy to do. I think it's, uh, it, anyway, we'll, I'll show you as we move forward. So for right now, guys, let me get back to work uh, getting the barrier down. Uh, and get all that set. I'm gonna do it at 24 inches and then we'll start bringing in the small river rock.
see, putting the barrier up is pretty much a piece of cake, pretty straightforward. So now I've got a 24 inch barrier. And if you look, I'll try to do a straight up, you can see that the barrier is 24 inches out where my gutter overhang is 18. So once we get this rock in place, this bed of rock, if the gutters overflow, which they do in the downpours, it'll just run down and hit the rock and it won't cause any erosion. So like I said earlier, not mean to repeat myself, but it'll be pretty and it'll be functional. So guys, time to grab the tractor and time to start dumping some gravel. So guys, as you can see, this is a really nice look and there's one more piece to the equation. I'm just temporary, I'm just gonna grab a couple of these bigger ones. So these are the four to six inch block, and it, rock rather, and again, these are uh, going on top of the two to four inch. So what I love about this pr procedure is once you put the uh, two to four inch down, then you just come back and you throw the big ones on top just in different spots and this is to me is kind of like the icing on the cake and you just grab it and just throw another big one on and I'll keep I've got some more of these around back I'll go grab these with the tractor and I'll continue working this in but anyway by doing this you don't see any paper you don't see any areas to where you can see the black like see like right here you can see the black paper underneath over here where I did this you cannot and this is the beauty of this pr protocol and it's actually a lot faster because you're not sitting there trying to fit them in like a puzzle so anyway guys just wanted to bring that to you uh, I'm really glad getting this finished up I've still got a about another 10 or 15 feet I've got to put in uh, but I just wanted to show you guys the procedure so guys I'm gonna jump back on the tractor and go get a couple more uh, bucket loads of the river rock that I have and I'm gonna finish uh, up on the front uh, guys, remember this is part two of a series. Uh, the next thing to be on the lookout for is I'm going to rework all of my landscape light landscape lighting, uh, and I've got some really cool things to uh, kind of get the brightness back on those. Uh, show you some stuff you'll be blown away to see, and I've got some stuff to make them look like brand new. So that'll be on the next series. Also guys, I will throw in in the end screens part one, uh, just so you can see a little quick reminder. If you don't watch anything, just watch the very beginning because uh, you'll see uh, how bad all of this looked before I started. I mean, the stuff was up to your knees. Uh, it's embarrassing that I'd let it get that bad, but we're on the recovery trail. Anyway guys, one last thing to ask, if you will, please consider hitting the like and subscribe. Uh, guys, you know, in today, YouTube has changed some and their algorithms are working differently. And if you don't like the videos that we're trying to bring to you, they just die and wither on the vine. Uh, they do not go and they do not grow. So I would really appreciate if you would do that for me. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to get back on the tractor, get back busy, and I will catch you on the next one. You guys take care and we'll catch you later.